In this podcast episode, Graham Hancock, a journalist and author known for his controversial theories about ancient civilizations, discusses the possibility of a lost civilization that existed during the last ice age. Over the course of the conversation, Hancock explores various themes related to human history, archaeology, and the mysteries of our past. Hancock's central thesis revolves around the idea that there was an advanced civilization that existed before the known cradles of civilization, such as Mesopotamia and Egypt. He posits that this civilization was likely destroyed in a global cataclysm around 12,000 years ago during the Younger Dryas period. This cataclysm, he argues, could explain the sudden emergence of agricultural societies and the beginnings of civilization as we know it. Hancock expresses a sense of puzzlement regarding why it took so long for humans, who have been anatomically modern for over 300,000 years, to develop complex societies. He questions the traditional narrative of a linear progression from hunter-gatherer societies to agricultural ones, suggesting that there may be significant gaps in our understanding of human history. Hancock emphasizes that the archaeological record is incomplete and that many areas of the world, particularly those that were once habitable during the Ice Age, have not been thoroughly studied. He believes that the remnants of this lost civilization may still be hidden beneath the sands of the Sahara or submerged under the ocean, waiting to be discovered. This perspective challenges the mainstream archaeological view, which often dismisses the idea of a lost civilization as speculative or unfounded. The Younger Dryas is a critical event in Hancock's narrative, marking a period of abrupt climate change that led to the extinction of many large mammals and significant shifts in human populations. He describes the Younger Dryas as an extinction-level event that could have drastically altered the course of human history. The sudden drop in temperatures and the associated environmental changes would have forced human populations to adapt rapidly, leading to the development of agriculture and the establishment of permanent settlements. Hancock draws attention to the evidence of a global cataclysm associated with the Younger Dryas, including geological markers and extinction patterns. He suggests that this cataclysm may have been caused by a comet impact, which would have unleashed catastrophic environmental changes. This theory, known as the Younger Dryas Impact Hypothesis, posits that multiple airbursts and impacts could have led to widespread destruction and the collapse of existing societies. Hancock argues that this event could explain the sudden emergence of new civilizations in the aftermath of the Younger Dryas. Gobekli Tepe, an archaeological site in Turkey, is a focal point in Hancock's exploration of ancient civilizations. He describes it as the oldest known megalithic site, dating back to around 11,600 years ago, which predates the advent of agriculture. Hancock argues that Gobekli Tepe challenges the conventional understanding of the timeline of human civilization as it suggests that complex societies existed long before the development of farming. The significance of Gobekli Tepe lies not only in its age, but also in its architectural complexity and the symbolism of its carvings. Hancock posits that the site may have served as a ceremonial center for a society of hunter-gatherers who were already capable of monumental construction. He suggests that the people who built Gobekli Tepe were not merely primitive, but possessed advanced knowledge of astronomy and engineering. This challenges the notion that civilization arose solely from agricultural practices, indicating that spiritual and ceremonial life may have played a crucial role in the development of complex societies. Hancock introduces the idea that shamanism may have been a foundational aspect of early human societies, influencing the development of culture, spirituality, and even civilization itself. He argues that shamans acted as the original scientists, exploring altered states of consciousness through the use of psychoactive plants. This exploration, he suggests, could have led to profound insights about the nature of existence, death, and the cosmos. The connection between shamanism and the development of civilization is particularly intriguing for Hancock. He posits that the moral lessons and spiritual insights gained through shamanic practices may have fostered a sense of community and shared values among early humans. This, in turn, 
could have laid the groundwork for the formation of more complex social structures and the eventual rise of civilizations. Hancock believes that the exploration of consciousness through shamanism is a vital aspect of understanding human history and the evolution of our societies. The Great Pyramid of Giza is another subject of fascination for Hancock, who delves into the mysteries surrounding its construction and purpose. He questions the traditional narrative that views the pyramid solely as a tomb for the pharaoh Khufu, arguing that its scale and precision suggest a much more complex purpose. Hancock believes that the Great Pyramid may have been designed as a cosmic monument, reflecting the ancient Egyptians' understanding of the heavens and their beliefs about the afterlife. Hancock highlights the architectural marvel of the Great Pyramid, noting its alignment with True North and its intricate internal passages. He suggests that the pyramid may have served as a tool for astronomical observation and spiritual exploration. The idea that the pyramid encodes knowledge about the cosmos and the afterlife resonates with Hancock's broader thesis about the interconnectedness of ancient civilizations and their shared spiritual beliefs. Throughout the conversation, Hancock emphasizes the significance of myths and symbols in understanding ancient cultures. He argues that these narratives often contain profound truths about human existence, morality, and the cosmos. Myths, in Hancock's view, are not merely fanciful stories, but reflections of deeper realities that have shaped human consciousness over millennia. Hancock draws parallels between the myths of different cultures, suggesting that they may share common origins rooted in a lost civilization. He points to the prevalence of flood myths across various cultures as evidence of a shared memory of a cataclysmic event, possibly linked to the Younger Dryas. This idea challenges the notion that myths are purely local phenomena, proposing instead that they may be remnants of a collective human experience. A recurring theme in Hancock's work is the exploration of consciousness and its implications for understanding human history. He posits that consciousness is a fundamental aspect of existence, shaping our perceptions of reality and our interactions with the world. Hancock suggests that the study of consciousness, particularly through the lens of psychedelics, can provide valuable insights into the nature of human experience and the mysteries of existence. Hancock's interest in consciousness extends to the potential for artificial ends to replicate or even enhance human consciousness. He raises questions about the nature of consciousness itself and whether it can be artificially created or simulated. This exploration of consciousness, both human and artificial, opens up new avenues for understanding the complexities of existence and the potential for future advancements in technology and spirituality. Hancock argues for the interconnectedness of ancient cultures, suggesting that knowledge and ideas were shared across vast distances and time periods. He points to the similarities in architectural styles, religious beliefs, and astronomical knowledge among different civilizations as evidence of this interconnectedness. Hancock believes that the remnants of a lost civilization may have influenced the development of later cultures, leading to the emergence of complex societies around the world. This perspective challenges the notion of isolated civilizations developing independently. Instead, Hancock posits that there may have been a common source of knowledge that transcended geographical and temporal boundaries. This idea invites further exploration of how ancient peoples interacted, shared ideas, and influenced one another, ultimately shaping the course of human history. Hancock discusses the impact of modern technology on archaeological research, particularly in the context of sites like Gobekli Tepe and the Great Pyramid. He highlights the use of ground-penetrating radar and other advanced imaging techniques that have revealed hidden structures and voids within these ancient sites. This technological advancement has the potential to reshape our understanding of ancient civilizations and their architectural achievements. The integration of technology into archaeology also raises questions about the future of the field. Hancock suggests that as new tools and methods become available, archaeologists may uncover evidence that challenges established narratives and prompts a re-evaluation of our understanding of the past. This ongoing evolution of archaeological practice underscores the importance of remaining open to new ideas and interpretations.
Throughout the podcast, Hancock addresses the contentious relationship between his theories and mainstream archaeology. He acknowledges the skepticism and criticism he has faced from the archaeological community, often labeling his ideas as pseudo-archaeology. Despite this, Hancock remains committed to exploring alternative perspectives on human history and advocating for a more inclusive approach to understanding the past. Hancock's willingness to engage in dialogue with critics, such as his debate with Flint Dibble, reflects his belief in the importance of open discourse. He argues that dismissing alternative viewpoints stifles intellectual curiosity and hinders progress in the field. By challenging established narratives and encouraging exploration of new ideas, Hancock aims to inspire a broader understanding of human history and the mysteries that continue to captivate our imagination. As the conversation draws to a close, Hancock expresses his hope for the future of human exploration, both in terms of archaeology and the study of consciousness. He envisions a world where individuals are encouraged to question established narratives, explore the mysteries of existence, and seek deeper understanding of their place in the cosmos. This spirit of exploration, he believes, is essential for the continued evolution of human consciousness and the advancement of civilization.